Abercrombie is a textbook example on how you do a rebrand, and I'd say it's a new favorite brand amongst the people. And why is that? Well, I think the products speak for themselves. I'm gonna show you guys some of my pickups right here. And full transparency, this was all gifted to me. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. These were gifted to me because I'm doing a separate sponsored post. But all of my opinions are my own. There are no talking points or anything. If I don't like a piece, I'ma roast it. Like, spoiler alert, their jeans kinda suck. We're gonna start off with this varsity jacket right here. It's beautiful in terms of colors and the overall design, but I would say it is a bit cheesy with the patches and all that. Because when it comes to varsity jackets, varsity jackets should be custom to you and your accomplishments. So it does feel kinda funny knowing damn well I can't even run a mile and there's some cross country patches on here. Like, can you imagine me? Running? I'll find any excuse to skip leg day, come on now. Otherwise, it's a clean piece, nice colors all around, and a decent build for the price. I do wish the cuffs were a little bit tighter, they do seem a little bit loose around the wrist area. But yeah, I think this is a good way to start the video, a good representation of how Abercrombie has changed their branding. Now next up, we have this knitted sweater polo with brown stripes right here. Now this is probably another good representation of what Abercrombie has become. It's kind of like M.A. Leon Dor, but way more affordable, a different target market as well. This piece fits very well if you got a little bit of a muscular build, for those of you guys asking I am 5'7", 160 pounds, and this is a size medium. And yeah, it's hugging the arms nicely. You've got that overall knitted texture that's decently breathable. Lots of airflow going and it ends with the hem and cuffs that's in a different knit, which is a cool bit of contrast in texture. Then yeah, if you notice, there's no buttons on this. It's meant to be worn nice and open, so I'd focus on hitting the upper chest. This piece is very versatile. It's a nice colorway. You can just rock this with a pair of trousers or shorts and call it a day. Now up next, we have the color block polo right here. Feels premium, has a nice texture texture and I like that you can rock it buttoned up or with a tank underneath. Personally, it's not my kind of piece to wear. It's a little bit too loud for me, but I know for others, this will look really good with their style. And a good way to tell what a brand is about is the quality of their hoodies. It's like when you go to a Vietnamese spot, you always got to test the quality of their pho and that speaks for the rest of the restaurant. So this is their Essentials pop-up hoodie. I got mine in a heather gray, but they have plenty of other colors. I just already have those colorways, but I don't have a light heather gray one. And let me just say, as someone who's sold hoodies in the past, this is pretty solid. This isn't like many of the other hoodies that most people are familiar with the only way I describe it is it's kind of soft and fluffy and very light as well which is not a bad thing I think people associate heavyweight hoodies with quality which there's some truth to that but there are lighter hoodies that are pretty good you've got that oversized fit not too long in the hem area layers up nicely as well this one is a size medium it's meant to be oversized normally I would go for a large for that extra oversized look but I know I'm gonna be layering with the slots so I went true to size that way the fabric isn't bunching up in the sleeves and all that I just love how soft this is kind of like my my new mattress from Helix Sleep, the sponsor of today's video. And right now you can get 20% off using my link, helixsleep.com slash Johnny Ty. So Helix Sleep produces premium mattresses that is custom to you and how you sleep. You just take a simple quiz and this tells Helix Sleep what your issues are, how you sleep, if you get too hot when you sleep like I do, and then they'll recommend a model that best suits your needs. Like they did for me, which is the Helix Midnight Lux. I definitely can't sleep in super soft mattresses or super hard mattresses. My girl, she prefers something super soft so this mattress is actually a perfect compromise for the both of us they do say this mattress is perfect for couples and so the midnight lux was perfect for me it's right in the middle not too firm not too soft and perfectly tailored for side sleepers and people that toss and turn like myself and right now i'm sleeping like a baby because this specific one keeps me nice and cool with their glacial text cooling cover and this mattress is fiberglass free it is peak summer right now so this addition to the mattress does wonders for my sleep and here's the coolest part it arrives in a box at your doorstep vacuum compressed so there's no need to struggle with another person trying to carry your mattress up all you gotta do is break the seal watch it inflate it's actually quite fun definitely gets the approval from my dog which is all that really matters we've been sleeping on it for the past year and my sleep has never been better unless the soak is taking up all the space what i appreciate is helix sleep gives you a hundred night trial just so you can try out the mattress and make sure that you love it and there's also a 10-year warranty you love to see it helix's mattresses have been a game changer for me i love my mattress and i'm sure you will as well and as you can see i have long hair now from when i first unboxed it so i've had this mattress for a while and it still feels like it's brand new and we're loving it if you want to upgrade your sleep take advantage of that 20 percent off using my link down in the description or you can go to helixsleep.com slash johnny ty and did i mention you get two free pillows come on now and they also offer flexible payment plans if you need it if you spend a third of your life sleeping why not make sure it's a mattress that you love and enjoy thank you helix sleep for sponsoring this video 
back to it. And now we have these loose utility cargo pants. I'm gonna be honest, the site pictures do not do these pants justice because these are pretty dope. So you've got that built-in utility belt, not the best quality, but a nice addition to this garment that you can always remove if you don't like it. Now the product does say it's loose, which I don't think is a good description. Like, eh, I'd probably say it's a little bit past straight cut, but they still look good with Air Force Ones. It doesn't look too chunky. Now the front zipper is a little bit tacky in my opinion. There's this extra fabric and material there. Completely unnecessary. It doesn't really add to the look or anything. And it just looks kind of weird. You got some extra unnecessary cargo pockets, but it does add to the look. And they have plenty of other colorways as well. Now our next two pieces comes from their Summer Linen Blend Collection, which are their floral camp collared shirts. We have one in green, and we have the one I'm wearing right now, which is in black. This is a perfect summer piece that's breathable and has a nice casual summer look. My pick is obviously the black one. It looks really clean, simple. And yeah, I'm wearing a beanie right now because I'm filming this early in the morning. The floral embroidery work is what makes this piece feel unique and summery. And I think it just adds to the summer vibe. And it's just a cool little textural detail as well. What's your pick? The green one, the black one. They got other colorways as well. I'm rolling with the black one. And then we got our next summer polo, which is their patchwork polo shirt. It comes in this brown colorway right here. Basically another camp collar polo combination. You've got a lot of ventilation holes for breathability and if you wear a white tank top underneath you'll get little specks of white throughout your fits which is pretty cool. I also really like the different patches of holes how they go in different directions. It does add to the look. It has a nice texture and it does make it feel much more premium and luxurious. And next we got their denim jeans and yeah like I said earlier these kind of suck. These don't feel the most premium but when you toss them on they do have a pretty decent fits. A nice wash as well. I've definitely just seen much more premium pieces from Abercrombie themselves. So if I were you, I'd probably skip out on this denim. Go for the double knees. Those actually look quite dope. Check those out. These jeans, they kind of suck. Okay, so speaking about Abercrombie's other denim options, I actually bought some myself with my own money and it just came in. And it's the double knee carpenter denim that I mentioned earlier in the brown colorway. This is probably my favorite item I picked up out of all of the items. And yo, this is Abercrombie we're talking about. Now, do I think Carhartt or other workwear brands make better ones? Of course they probably do. These ones have a nice wash. It has a good fit. Only thing I got to complain about is the size 30 feels like a size 32. So if you could do a try on in person. But yeah, these pants look great with the varsity jacket. I really think it shines in a monochromatic look. And this definitely feels much more premium than the other denim I talked about earlier. And then we have a tank top. This is also one of my favorite items I picked up and it's my favorite tank top in my collection. I've never had any issues with any tank tops I've owned. Even the Fruit of the Loom ones are dope. It has a good fit. I love the texture, love the airflow. And especially when you layer it, that texture pops out really nicely and it just subtly elevates an outfit would highly recommend up next we have two different white camp collared shirts both in different textures and a completely different fit as well so one is in this light and airy texture while this other one is just your standard dress shirt type of material kind of really hard to get the wrinkles out which is why i don't really like it and why i definitely prefer the lighter one it's much more simple much more breathable and you do get more movement throughout your body the lace one right here is it's cool, but I just find it's very restrictive, even though it's not slim fitting and definitely can get uncomfortable at times. I do have wider lats and wider shoulders. And just whenever I sit down and do some work, it does pull at my lats a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to check out the lace ones, I would definitely recommend a try on in person or size up. But overall, a nice top. You can't really go wrong with either. And then we got their vintage tee, a nice tee for the price. You got that vintage wash and almost inside out stitching around the shoulder area and it has a pretty solid fit. I'm a bigger fan of the Uniqlo oversized tee, but you definitely can't beat the wash of this one and their other colorways, which the Uniqlo ones are more so for a minimal, simplistic style. This one is definitely more for that casual street look. And to top off the video, we have two different caps, a Miller cap and a NASCAR cap. One comes in red, one comes in blue, and these hats are just okay in my opinion. They do have a really nice colorway, I'll give it that, but the hat doesn't feel very rigid. I tried bending the brim on the blue one, it still looks pretty flat to me, so we're gonna have to get a little clever with our techniques, but I will always be a sucker for two-tone caps. All right, y'all, those are my Abercrombie pickups. I gotta say, you do not need all of these items. This is just me showcasing what you can get. I'm not even gonna keep all of these pieces myself. I'm gonna be giving it away as gifts to my cousins and family members. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, deuces.